Nuestra casa, aquí, welcome to our home. I'm very, I'm very sad that we cannot be inside, but I'm so pleased that you're all here with us today. Thank you so much. Um, we are so excited to be able to donate this Torah to the Comunidad Sefardita Ortodoxa de Honduras, which is in San Pedro Sula in Honduras. Uh, the giving of a Torah is so significant. I uh, do believe that it is an incredible mitzvah, um, or I hope it is, <laughs> and uh, we're just so proud to be able to do it. I have been a uh, director of the Anusim for Kulanu.org for, uh, well, actually since the pandemic started. I've drawn very close to the communities. I teach the communities. I'm there as a hand. We've given food aid, and I know specifically cuando dimos la ayuda allá en Honduras eh, for the COVID, that, creo que fuiste en barco. Uh, it had started to, to torment. The people had no food. And Eliseo, as president of the community, uh, Eliseo Gonzalez, he sent me pictures. He had to go first by Jeep, through a jungle, and then by car, and then by boat to get the COVID supplies. Así que eh, es una persona increíble, él y Rivaldo eh, Rivera, que está ahí atrás de la comunidad también. Eh, la primera vez que íbamos a buscar la Torah empezó el primer huracán. The second time we were going to go get the Torah because he had to get it in Los Angeles from the Beth Shalom community. The second time was the second hurricane. And when he went to get it last week, the day he flew in, on that day, uh, there was a lockdown in Los Angeles. I'm still not sure how he managed to get it here, but we're very honored, Eliseo, to give you this, uh, to give you this Torah and to Rivaldo for your community. It's so important for us to, to see you grow, to see you grow your community. You do such an exceptional job in the middle of everything that's going on. You do such an exceptional job Y, y tener a todo ese grupo tan cerca contigo, la verdad que es admirable el trabajo que tú haces. First of all, I want to thank for the invitation in the name of the consulate here in Miami. This is, um, I'm new, the new heart neighbor. Eh, soy realmente nuevo acá, hace apenas un mes y esto para mí es una bendición poder acompañarles. Eh, es una, es un acto muy especial. Y quiero felicitarlos por su gestión durante la tormenta ETA y OTA que ayudaron a sus, eh, nuestros hermanos hondureños durante la catástrofe. Y agradecer a Ariel, que él fue el que nos invitó a este evento y me siento muy contento de acompañarlos. Esto va a servir de mucho para entrelazar la, las relaciones y, y hacerlas más fuertes y duraderas con, con nuestro pueblo hondureño. Les agradecemos muchísimo por este invaluable obsequio que tengo entendido de que no es tan fácil y realmente es una cuestión milagrosa. Entonces, I want to take it all for, for this present. And I'm so glad to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Hanukkah is a time we celebrate with light. Well, what are we celebrating? We are celebrating the fact that the Assyrian Greeks stood in our way and we were not able to embrace the Torah. So we celebrate Hanukkah, but the essence of the holiday is celebration of Torah. And for that, we extend our gratitude to Michael and Jeannie for making this a real Hanukkah celebration. 
because they have brought a Torah and sharing a Torah with Klal Yisrael. When you come to meet people, when you come to impress people, you want to arouse people, you want to inspire people, you want to awaken people. How do you do it? There are two ways. One is to make noise. And we do that on Rosh Hashanah with a shofar. We make the noise and make that impression. There's another t way to wake up people, and that is to turn on the light. You turn on the light with the light of Torah. And what we celebrate today as Klal Yisrael, Michael, Jeannie bringing us together, and we have with us the honorable consuls from Honduras, as well as representation, the consul from Eretz from Israel, and we have our community, and we have Senor Gonzalez, who's here on behalf of the community of Honduras, which is embracing Torah. And Mr. Gonzalez ran around the country, running around the world to get the Torah. That represents the appreciation of what Torah is and the value of Torah. And may Hashem bless you and your kehila, that you can bring them the Torah and let the Torah shine and let them study it. Because when we have the Torah, not only do we read from the Torah, not only do we learn from the Torah, but we take the lessons of the Torah with us. And with that, on behalf of our kehila, we want to send to your kehila a safer, a book, with Torah lessons, so that we take the Torah with us wherever we go. And may Hashem bless you, may Hashem bless your kehila, and may Hashem bless all of us, that the light of this Torah shines throughout the entire world. Mazal Tov, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jewish Heritage Alliance with Michael Steinberger as its director is dedicated to the memory of Sepharad. And what is more incredible than to commemorate the memory of Sepharad? Like myself, the communities scattered through Honduras and all Central America are definitely communities that come from the heart of Sepharad. So in honor, of you, Eliseo, and your community, Michael Steinberger and the Jewish Heritage Alliance give you the certification of a salute for your community. Thank you. Thank you very much. As we open up the Sefer Torah, right in front of us, we have Vayom Hashem Moshe, Hashem told Moshe to write the second luchos, the second tablets. And this refers to the tablets that were brought down on Yom Kippur. And it means that there is a second chance, another opportunity. And as we're here today, we have for the generations who are looking for that opportunity that somehow they were not able to encounter all these years. And so this is the sentence that we face when we open this Sefer Torah to be read by. Michael. Vayomer Adonai el Moshe pesal lecha shnei luchot avanim karishonim vechatavti et ala luchot et advarim ashayu la luchot arishonim asher shibarta veheye nachon la boker vealita ba boker el ar Sinai veNitzavta li sham al rosh ha'ar ואיש לא יעלה עמך וגם איש לא יראה בכל ההר גם הצאן והבקר אל יראו אל מול ההר ההוא ויפסול שני לוחות אבנים כראשונים וישקה משה בבוקר ויעלה להר סיני כאשר ציווה דני אותו ויקח בידו שני לוחות אבנים ושני לוחות אבנים וירד אדוני בענן ויצא עמו שם ויקרא בשם אדוני 
ויעבור אדוני על פניו ויקרא אדוני אדוני לחום וחנון אל רחפיים ורב חסד ואמץ נוצא חסד לאלפים נוסע בו נפשע וחטא ונקה לא ינקה ונקה לא ינקה פוקד עוון אבות על בנים ועל בני בנים על שלישים ועל רבעים ויהיה מהר משה ויקוד ארצה וישתחו I just want to say that what, can, what an honor it is to read the Torah, the Torah giving over from one community to another community and being the vehicle with Jeannie to give over the Torah to another community so that uh, it never ends. In other words, one community has decided to, uh, to close their doors and at the same time the new, another community opened up its doors. So the Torah is continuing from one place to another and I'm so happy uh, in between it passed by our home and we have a chance to give it over to, to your Kehillah Tendurian um, community. So uh, I'm overwhelmed and uh, I think it's, uh, it's a great, great, great mitzvah and uh, look forward to after the COVID, we can all get together much closer and with many, many more simchas afterwards. Thank you. Buenas tardes, un placer. Eh, primero que todo le agradecemos a Hashem. Y en todo esto que ha pasado, eh, hemos visto realmente el milagro que Hashem hace a través eh, de las personas, eh, especialmente personas que eh, yo siempre lo he comentado, se convierten en ángeles en la tierra. Eh, uno de ellos pues es Jenny y Marina que han estado siempre con nosotros, pendientes de todo lo que ha pasado en nuestra comunidad. Eh, ese infinito agradecimiento también para la organización Culano, ¿verdad? que hace todas estas cosas maravillosas, que nosotros no contamos con ellas en nuestras comunidades, pero que ellos la hacen realidad, y que empezamos a vivir pues, realmente una vida diferente a las demás. Y como nos dijo el rabino, Esperamos que esta Torah no solamente eh, vaya a significar para nosotros algo especial, sino que para nuestras generaciones, nuestros hijos, los hijos de nuestros hijos, y así sucesivamente que pase, ¿verdad? y que siempre brille la luz de la Torah para nuestra eh, comunidad, y que no deje pues, la comunidad siempre de pensar que Hashem es lo más grande que hay. ¿verdad? Eh, muchas gracias, estamos agradecidos, y palabras son muchas, pero yo creo que el agradecimiento sobre todo a cada uno de ustedes que nos han acompañado en cada momento y que nos han brindado su oportunidad y todo el aprecio que han, nos han tenido. Así es que Hashem les bendiga a cada uno de ustedes y les dé lo mejor para siempre y por siempre. בימים ההם בזמן הזה, הנרות הללו אנו מדליקים על הניסים ועל הנפלאות ועל התשועות ועל המלחמות שעשית על אבותינו בימים ההם בזמן הזה על ידי כהניך, כהניך הקדושים, וכל שמונת ימי החנוכה, הנרות הללו קודשם, ואין לנו רשות להשתמש בהם, אלא לראות אותם בלבד, כדי להודות, להודות ולהלל, בשמך הגדול, על ניסיך ועל נפלותיך. Nay, <laughs> <laughs> 